evening you are welcome to our glory globe to be here's breaking news yes several establishments in taru located about 20 km from violence hit new were raised down on saturday in an ongoing bulldozer action carried out by the haryana administration officials confirmed that the residents of this establishments were involved in the july 30 first riots in the area News SDM Oshini Kumar stated that the demolition drive was ordered by Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar, sitting the constructions as illegal and linked to the riots. The demolition drive also targeted illegal encroachments near News SKM Government Medical College and in front of the hospital on the way to Nalhar Temple. Amid heavy police deployment to prevent any untoward developments bulldozers were deployed at four locations across Taru on Friday. Around 40 illegal shops are being demolished in the area which also witnessed vehicle burnings and stone pelting during the communal tensions on July 31st. Meanwhile, curfew restrictions under section 144 continue in new with limited relaxation hours for residents. Regarding the new riots, Haryana Home Minister Anil Bich revealed that 202 people have been arrested and 80 taken into preventive detention. He emphasized that those involved in the violence will not be speared and the detents are currently being questioned. Six people including two home guards and a cleric died in the classes that erupted in Muslim dominated Nu when a Vishwa Hindu Parishad procession was attacked by mobs on Monday. Which asserted that the violence in Nu was pre planned, as evidenced by bullets being fired from hillocks and stones collected on rooftops of the building. The police are actively investigating the classes and have called for journalists who covered the events to provide videos and feeds to assets in the probe. Moreover, which hinted at a crackdown on cyber crimes originating from Nu comparing it to India's notorious cyber crime hub Jamtara in Jhankarn. By the BN the Zifford, Glory Globe TV Delhi, India.